I really love simulation because it uh, gives us an opportunity to uh, not only increase our students' confidence in their skills, but it's also a place that is very safe for them to perform their skills without uh, patient harm. The things that we got to do helped a lot in a clinical setting because when we did um, run into certain situations, it wasn't that we weren't familiar with what we were doing. Um, we kind of had a, a chance to experience it in a safe place. Um, an environment where you just get to learn and there aren't really repercussions to what you do and you get to learn from the things that you may do well or may do not so well. It's a wonderful place for them to um, talk about their feelings in regard to how certain situations make them feel. Um, it helps them increase their, uh, obviously their skill base, but more than that it increases their confidence. These simulation experiences have really helped me Mostly, I think, in my confidence as a new student nurse and hopefully soon a new staff nurse in the hospital. They've really become a place for me to fumble around with the equipment and not be embarrassed about it before I go into the hospital. And they've become a place where I can come in and ask questions and I can get answers. I can get feedback on, hey, this is what you did wrong, these are things that you can improve on, but also this is what you did right. Something that really stands out to me is the ability that we have here to be as autonomous as regular RNs will be. Um, as a student nurse, you don't really have the opportunity to take on the role of an RN. You're following an RN, but you're not actually participating as an RN with the patients. Um, we are able to control the scenarios. We are able to control the environment that we otherwise cannot control in the clinical area. My time during simulation has been one that I will take with me for the rest of my life as a nurse. Um, for example, we've had chances to work with these mannequins and help them through some of the things that we will actually be doing during our time as RNs on whatever hospital we'll be working in. During our time in simulation, we are communicating with doctors, we are communicating with pharmacists, we're communicating with other nurses. And that's something that you lack when you're a student nurse and you don't really have the opportunity to do. So having that experience and having that exposure and being able to sit there and look at that um, and coming into the hospital, it wasn't a new thing and it didn't throw me off and I felt prepared and I knew what I was looking at, which was a great feeling. So it helps us to speak uh, and address directly um, concerns or problem areas that we see with our students and then we're able to focus um, our interactions in regard to that. We're a small program, but we have a high volume of students that go through, so growing our simulation lab was really important. I was a little intimidated when I signed up, but I realized pretty quickly that we were all at very different points and that we all learned a lot of techniques, things like where to get your labels for your meds, how to recycle your IV bags, and lots of very useful tips brought us all together, and we all learned what we needed big benefit uh, to my course and I really enjoy incorporating simulation in our program. The simulation and healthcare courses are designed to teach, engage, and challenge those who have goals to develop simulation in a chosen environment. Whether you have used simulation in the past or you are just hearing the word for the first time, our courses are designed to enrich your understanding of this educational tool.